guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting to to episode 10 of season 3 of Demon Slayer. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Make me happy, show. Got bad news. <laughs> So good as fuck. <laughs> uh You bastard. Ma'am, oh my god! The true magical girl. <laughs> I wonder how long that took. Shit. <laughs> Thank you. 
But see, that's too easy, though. Jesus. My oh, poor baby, he can't get out. <laughs> Keep trying, babe, you got it. Well, damn, that's a little harsh. Well, fuck you, ass. No, <laughs> you did teeny teeny. <laughs> <laughs> Girl. <laughs> I mean, you know, y'all say that now, but then when it gets worse, y'all start saying something different. No comment. Oh, my God. <laughs> That little teeny tiny. Oh my god! That's what makes you special. And me. Okay. You can just be a bad bitch. Independent. Strong. Make your own motherfucking money. 
Don't depend on no fucking man. I'm just saying. Yeah, I mean, you don't want that. Can you come open the door for Cody? You say that, but of course, inside she loves them and she's happy.
I mean, at least y'all three should at least try to get the main head, but... There you go! There you go! This fucking thing, I swear to God. Hurry. Jesus, damn, babe. I mean, you could just secretly just burn the tree, but no, he'll still feel that all the way from the other side. That thing should have opened the fuck up. It's not there. You gotta be fucking... <laughs> My god, I hate this thing so bad!
not the truth. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Love the fact that we got Miss Cindy back, sorry, because like uh she's best girl. Oh, like seriously, ever since last week, she's the magical girl of magical girls. Well, yeah, fuck it, I'll say it. Yeah, magical girls, magical girls. Like it just, you know, gives me that little teeny tiny bit of ounce of hope that she'll be in a certain series. Kinda hopefully, ma'am, I would like for you to be in that series. How what, uh, freaking Chinabu is in it, so <clears throat> makes all sense. But you guys, it was so good. Just, I mean, I'm not mad at this cliffhanger. You knew it was coming, but still, you would have thought that yes, they would have defeated the upper, but no. That's okay. That's okay. I, I can wait one more week because next week is the finale, and of course, it's 70 minutes long. So probably when it comes out, I will. Definitely, maybe still be at work waiting. But I mean, it was good. It was just I, after before I felt how I felt after, before the episode and how I felt now. Two completely different things. Because yes, I was very sad at the beginning of this episode because of reasons. But still, like guys, baby did that and she did that so fucking good. I would let if there was something where you could just have a whole spinoff on one character, it's her. As much as I love Shinobu. It's me sick. That's all. I mean, because she, she loves eating. I am mad at that. <laughs> oh, I'm so hungry. I had like three freaking cheese sticks. I'm so hungry. <laughs> but my thing is like, yes, what makes her unique is her hair, her eyes, everything about her. And the fact that, like, the guy at the beginning was like, oh, your hair, the fact that you're strong, the fact that you're this, this, that, and the third. And typical guys want, I'm not saying all, I'm saying some, um, typically want a natural colored hair, natural behind makeup, which ish, whatever. Um, just a regular behind girl. They don't want someone who is too unique as because of reasons. Usually it could be because of parents or a whole bunch of different things or just, you know, the things that society has placed on us as a norm. Um, but the fact that she just wanted to change herself because she's, even with her asking her mom, like, you know, hey, um, the only thing I really should be worrying about is getting married. At your age, not really, no, babe. No, mm -mm. Once again, you can be a bad bitch. You are a bad bitch. You've been a bad bitch since day freaking one. You don't need to have a guy or a girl or whoever just to, you know, be fucking happy. You're, you, be your freaking self. And I'm saying that to everybody. Even at the age that you are, even at my age, at freaking 29 years old and such. Right now, I'm in a moment where, once again, I'm in the independent bad bitch moment. Where, yes, I would love to have a boyfriend. Would love to talk to a boyfriend or a guy about just, like, anything. Certain relationships and just, you know, bonding on so many things. But I think right now, that is just not in the cards for me. I think, you know, I'm okay being by myself. But there are times, and I think, you know, with Miss Ari herself, she probably thought that, like, I I like being by myself, but at the same time, I do want someone to share this, to go on this journey with me and such. And even with her, like, dyeing her hair, like, 
that broke my heart. You're taking something away from yourself that made you unique. Why why be like everybody else when you're a leader? You're on your own. You've done your hair is different. And so yes, that makes you look different. But somebody is out of all those people, out of all those guys who will say no, there will always be that one guy or girl who will always say yes and who wants to be with you for the way you are. Regardless. But she's still a badass bitch, and I fucking love her. And I cannot wait to see more of her in this last episode and whatever the heck we're going to after season three. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 10 of season three of Demon Slayer. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like, girl. It helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel and make videos if you want to join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Sunday, probably after work, because thank God there's no more gaming streams, because that was the reason why I was late today. Um, but if I do work next week, uh, next Sunday, you'll see me sometime between this time or after or later on or earlier in the day. I'm not really sure yet because, you know, your girl ain't got her schedule for the week. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.